私のマスターかこれは人類を守る戦いである始めましょうマスター Hey guys, Hailey here, and welcome back. So, today I want to talk about quarter scale figures that aren't bunnies. <laughs> Because I have a freeing beast style to unbox today that is not a bunny figure. And that's rare because literally like 90% of my quarter scale collection happen to be bunny girls. It's like such a thing. In figure collecting for some reason. Before we get to the unboxing though, I wanted to just do a bit of a deep dive into the B style options if you don't like bunnies. And it's a bit of a weird selection of figures. We're gonna exclude binding figures,、uh, and like there's a couple of weird early freeing figures where they were getting like super horny on main.、Um, We're just gonna gloss over those. So, starting with the other B style I have that's not a bunny, we have the Hatsune Miku version 3. This figure is an absolute classic and she's also an absolute unit. I think this is a great quarter scale for Miku fans. Then we've got the original Hestia B style, which is this super weird anomaly because she's cast off. And so I think this is like one of the only ways to see Hestia's canon boobs, because I don't think she shows it in any of the official lore.、Uh, but this is cast off, which is kind of weird. There's a second one where she's got a bunny suit on that's not cast off. Uh, but this original one, I think, goes for quite a bit in the aftermarket because she's a cast off. Then there's this nice one from Infinite Stratos. It's called the Kitsune Miko version. So weird that they kind of put her in a kimono for that.、Uh, turns out there's a Luca B style to go with the Miku. I completely didn't know this existed, so this was nice to find. Then there's a bunch of Lucky Star. B style gym uniform ones, which at first I was like, oh, nice. And then I realized, like, the whole shtick is that they're kind of cast off and you can take their pants off. And then I was like, oh, okay, no, thank you. Then we've got this one from Expelled from Paradise. I know this one gets pretty expensive.、Uh, I do think she's nice. And then we've got a couple of really nice Toho quarter scales, which I'm sure if you're a Toho Project fan, you're all over those. And recently, it looks like Freeing's trying to just make quarter scale figures from kind of more of your normal animes. We're getting a Asuna quarter scale, we've got a Bakugo and an Izuku,、um, and then of course, we've also got the Rengoku quarter scale、uh, that isn't to everybody's liking. And finally, we have a couple of Fate ones. So there is this amazing Gilgamesh quarter scale, which I kind of think Gilgamesh looks better with his hair down, which is why I don't really want to invest in that one. And of course, they made a Saber quarter scale, which is kind of the topic of today's video. So I do like that Freeing are branching into making quarter scales that aren't bunnies, because having the character in their original outfit. Does a nicer job of representing like, the anime they're from. So, if you're a fan of the entire show, the entire anime, it's like having the character in that outfit that they wear in the show feels good to have, you know? But anyway, let's move into today's figure, which will be of Saber. And the backstory for this quarter scale is a little bit chaotic. So, initially, they made the quarter scale Artoria. B style figure back in 2019, and this was based off her first Ascension outfit. Then, back in 2021, she went up for a re release, and this was like a big deal. I think a lot of people were really excited about this and pre ordered it, and I was very, very tempted to get her myself. And then, a few months after, they announced A new version of the Artoria B style, except this time based off her second ascension. And I reckon this one looks way better than the first one. And I 
was very glad that I didn't pre-order the first one because I'm not going to get both. And maybe it was just me who felt this, but I thought it was a little cheeky of freeing to re-release the first one and get a bunch of pre-orders and then be like, psych, here's a better one. And it's like, are they counting on people getting both? Uh, I don't know. So the first Ascension one retails for 28,000 yen and the second Ascension one is a little bit more expensive at 30,000 yen, which is very expensive. Um, but I did bite the bullet and pre-order her and now she's here. So let's open her up. So she came oh, in this giant box. I don't even know if I'm on screen anymore, but it is so big and so heavy. It's, it's the heaviest figure I've ever owned. I reckon she's at least the box included, like eight kilos. Does that seem like correct? I don't, uh, let's get this out of the box. Here she is out of the other box. This box is huge. I don't know if it's coming across on camera. Oh my God. Uh, I don't know if it's coming across on camera, just how massive this box is. It's also a workout. My arms are gonna be like massive after this unboxing because of how heavy she is. All right, we have a ton of instructions. All right, let's start with her accessories, which are also huge. So she comes with two swords. Uh, this one when she's not in like stealth mode or whatever, and this one when she's, uh, stealth moding how long her sword is and here's the base so this looks like it's got like cardboard in it it looks like we're supposed to do something with the base this is a piece of acrylic with a summoning circle on it and we have to peel the plastic off i mean can't they do that for us <laughs> so i have to peel this uh like masking paper off the the base it's kind of shitty because it's not really peeling very well and i'm just wondering why this was left as an exercise to the customer so this transparent piece just goes back onto the black base like that and then we have a black so i don't know why it just didn't come like this um i guess it, it's more hands-on the other way but this is the base uh pretty nice as far as freeing bases go um, I like this print here. All right, now let's get into opening the girl here herself. So here is Saber. There is so much bubble wrap just crammed into her skirt here. It's insane. Let's try and rescue her. Okay, still a lot of plastic, but we're getting there. Oh, there's like an entire blister pack under here. Here she is. She's bigger than my head. Uh, this, uh, yeah, the size is, is, is crazy. Um, she has a lot of skirt. <laughs> I'm gonna get her onto the base so we can finish putting her together. All right, I finished putting her together. So the rest of the assembly was to put her on the base, put in her all important ahoge. I put in the sword and then there's this weird piece of plastic that goes under her like flap here that you just kind of shove up. Oh, this looks all wrong, all types of wrong, but um, you kind of shove up under this flap to help it maintain its shape, I think. Also, interestingly, her like second ascension armor here, like these are like articulated, like there's little hinges in them and you can bend them. I don't know why you would want to do that because gravity applies and they fall down to sit like this anyway. Uh, but I guess a, a little bit of a cool feature there. So Saber looks amazing in this figure. This figure is so cool. It's huge. It's got such a presence about it. Um, there are some really nice details as well on this figure. I really love her hair, I love the colour of it and the sculpt, there's some really nice details there. I think they nailed her face as well. I really like all of the armour on it, that's kind of why I like the second ascension more than the first, so I really like that they nailed the armour pieces. 
There's also some really nice shading and fabric details on Saber's blue dress. On the downside, I have a couple of complaints. There are a few noticeable areas where the details aren't perfect, especially on that gold outline around her skirt. I still can't get over how big her skirt is. I think when you only buy bunny figures and so they're only wearing a bunny suit, the figure doesn't take up a lot of space. It's kind of just as big as the person is. But when the outfits and the props get a little bit more elaborate, they get big really quick. Like Saber takes up so much space with her giant circle skirt and her long ass sword. It's a lot, it's pretty intense. She is very expensive though, coming in at 30,000 yen. Although if you compare what you're getting here with what you're getting from a normal bunny, the price doesn't seem as bad but I still think it's it's a lot of money. Saber is the character that most represents the Fate franchise. And so, you know, if you're into Fate, this is like the quintessential quarter scale to get. I feel like even more so than the Gilgamesh, uh, although I do like the Gilgamesh as well. If he had his hair down, I would be very interested in it. <laughs> But yeah, with that, I am very happy to add her to my collection. I'm gonna have to work out where the hell she can go because she's very heavy. She takes up a lot of room. Um, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge to find the perfect spot for Saber here, but I think she's worth it. That is all I had for this video. I'd be curious to know if you guys like the idea of quarter scale B style figures where the characters are in their original outfits. Like, is that something you would buy or would you just prefer to buy one sevenths of those and leave the quarter scales for bunnies only? Like, I don't know, it's interesting. Anyway, let me know what you think. If you didn't know, you can support me on Patreon and I will be uploading some exclusive videos on there every now and then. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a good week and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye! Huge special shout out to Neon Nyan, Furkan, Retro Richie, Sleepy Quinny, Rurika, Bradley, Mike, Eduardo, Tattletail, and all the other awesome names on the screen.